Why, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Shobo. Today is Sunday, March 31st, 2024. It is Easter Sunday. Uh, so today I'm actually going to only stream uh, half the usual stream time. I uh, had originally planned to do the whole normal stream today, but uh, yeah, there's, there's too much to do. There's there's too much to get done uh, today, uh, and I I could use the time if only even if I don't do anything. I I do also need the rest because yeah, yeah. Yesterday was busy, and today will continue to be busy because we we're, we're going to have a guest over, and so the whole house needs to be cleaned. Continued to be cleaned. Did did cleaning yesterday. Have more cleaning today. To uh to get done. Mr. Cat is up top. He's he's up here. He's snoring. There's a kitty. There's there's that there's that baby. There he is. He's up there. So he's Mr. Cat's happy. The cats are happy. They have completely fresh litter now. So they they they're 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 ecstatic. For having fresh litter, because that was that was among the things yesterday was refresh completely re clean and refresh litter boxes on top of clean up what I can in the bathroom and vacuum this office and the den and try to get some boxes out, empty boxes out. I have a I have a few boxes of filament that needed to go, uh, just a few about uh, fifteen. <clears throat> at least, uh, then I had to get into the recycle bin, and, uh, yeah, some other boxes to break down that I broke down, swept and mopped the kitchen floor, moved a bunch of stuff from the living room into the den to get it out of the way of the living room so I could do some vacuuming in the living room, vacuumed the, the, the couch, got, got, got in all the creases on the couch, it was a lot. It was a lot, and I still have to vacuum the hallway 
to the bathroom, and I have to clean the bathtub. And then, of course, there's the meal. Yes, that there's work for the for the meal itself. I, I've got. Fortunately, I, I only really have to put the uh, the ham in the oven. We have ham today. Uh, just gotta get the ham in a container in our in our roasting pan, and then into the oven, and that will that will sit. But I'm also doing mashed potatoes. I'm doing mashed red potatoes. From made from the actual red potatoes, so it's gonna be gonna have to scrub them, cut them, boil them, mash them, etc. Add add the stuff to the mash as well. Any like cheese, garlic, anything else I want to put in it. A little bit of hot sauce. And that will be that. For me, for my contribution, my, my glorious contribution, on top of uh, all the money I spent on some on the, the majority of the food, <laughs> the actual like meal food. But, well, not I'll, I'll say I bought the ham, I bought the ham, and I bought the dessert and some of the breakfast for today. Had hot cross bun today with some blueberry pound cake, and uh, gotta say the. Uh, the hot cross bun, where did we get it? Was from uh which which place was it? It was the uh, Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter had the hot cross buns, and we got the hot cross buns from Harris Teeter, and they're actually good. They're actually good. La last year we got hot cross buns. I don't know where we got them from, but they tasted like utter dog shit. And I Absolutely hated them. Absolutely hated it. I I did not have any more than one last year, uh, and noped right out of that as quickly as possible. They they were garbage. They they tasted like absolute garbage. I could not see how anyone would like those things. Um, but these these are these these are great actually. These were actually good this time. So yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I'm tired. My body is tired. I was... I I had extra coffee yesterday. Like, I got an extra cup of coffee yesterday, and I took pain pills before pain could be an issue. But the result of that is that I worked through periods where I would have been in pain, which means that, of course, I'm going to have a lot more pain uh, today. Though I haven't taken any pain pills quite yet. I might, I might do that after the stream, because uh, I, I am a, a bit sore today so yeah yeah work i'm i'm lowish energy and there's still work to do so 3d printing things updates uh a person bought one of these trays as as the camera freaks out because this is pure white um yeah someone bought one of these game boy cartridge trays Hundred slot Game Boy cartridge trays. So I managed to get that done yesterday. I will need to get a few pictures of this in white. A few pictures of this in white. Uh, so that's like the big, the biggest thing. I have like four things currently that'll be going out on Monday, unless we get even more sales, which I'm hoping for that would be ready on time behind me pink pink yes this pink pink P pink exists now i have i has pink uh, in in hand i has pink in hand and it's actually really nice it actually it looks really really nice it performs very very well Frankly, I I genuinely don't have any complaints whatsoever about this particular filament. It it's done far better than I thought it would. 
which is really nice. Which is really nice. This is the this is the Game Boy tray, ten, ten slot little Game Boy cartridge tray. Uh, so what facilitated getting the pink was that someone bought the ten slot version of the UMD tray. So I was having to print out the ten slot UMD tray, and uh. Yeah, I did end up printing it three times to get a perfect print, but that was not the filament's fault. That was my fault for not having good enough settings to do the print the first two times. Uh, but ultimately, I ended up with a perfect print that was sent out. Uh, it didn't really use that much filament. For the ones that were failures but anyway so i got the i got a 20 printed as well just to have the pictures of it for my listings uh, and i do i do like the i like this pink i like this shade of the pink it's it is exactly what i think of when i think of pink so there is that this is overture brand the Overture Professional PLA, which on the roll says that you shouldn't use speeds above 70 millimeters per second, which is a lie, which is actually just a lie, because this item, this thing, which printed pretty perfectly, there's only like... A couple of places where my print settings could have made it a little bit better, but overall, I would ship this. This was printed at my full speed, normal, like, high speed settings for the high speed filament. Like, this this was printed with the same settings I use normally. Which, yeah, it performed at those speeds, which those speeds are... Um, variable but they're generally speaking over 100 millimeters per second uh they're they're over 100 over 120 generally after the first layer uh, first layer is slow purposefully but the rest of it is much faster and it's over 100 is what it's tuned to uh, but that speed isn't actually what's important what's important is the maximum volumetric flow rate which is Quite literally, how much actual filament can be extruded at one time, per unit time. Like, how much can actually be, how much volume can it push out in a second? Like, how, how much volume can go out in a second? That's, that's the most important factor, and that will vary based off of like that that actual number there's there is a realistic maximum that you can reach with a given filament but also a maximum that you can reach with your given nozzle and nozzle size and, and that that number is just a combination of the layer height the line width and the speed at which it runs you multiply those three numbers and you get the volumetric flow that you are demanding from the machine and in the slicer i can set what the maximum value of that can be even if i set the speed settings to go faster it will cap it at the max volumetric flow rate which i think i have it set to like 22 millimeters cubed per second i think it's like around 22 or the absolute max and it's a bit lower than that for like the walls and things so it's actually high quality but anyway yeah so i'm happy with the pink uh, and the performance of the pink and i'm glad to now have that uh, i will have to update my ebay listings uh, i updated two of the listings and then realized oh hey yeah ebay does this great thing where if you have a markdown sale running uh, on your items uh, if you add a variation to your listing, uh, what ends up happening then is 
uh, the listing itself will be completely removed from your markdown sale. All of the other variations that you had, uh, like the markdown price, will return to the original price. And the variation that you set, uh, that will have the setting that you typed in, which would probably be matching what the others said with their markdown price. So it, that will be the markdown price. as its normal price before markdown. Because eBay is dumb, stupid, and a horrible platform. So, um, basically, in order to do uh, any updates to add variations, I can't be running a markdown sale. to add variations. And it's been like a couple days and those listings haven't automatically returned to the uh, the sale, which ends today, but yeah. So I probably won't be able to run markdown sales on, uh, on eBay, or if I do, then I have to just realize that I'm not gonna be able to add colors until it ends, like at the beginning of each month, so. Yeah, that's a that's a really stupid, dumb thing that doesn't affect Etsy at all. Etsy's not like that. Anyway, game. Factorio. Hi. We're here. I did absolutely jack all. Between last time and this time, I did I did absolutely nothing. You may also notice I'm using different headphones today. That, that's another topic. That's that's another thing. Um yeah, so my my Audio Technicas, my my ATH M50Xs, yeah, ATH M50Xs, yeah, these things. Uh, they did not. They still function. They function well. There's there's no problem with the output from these. What's happened is that the left hinge can do this now. Not supposed to be able to do that motion. It's supposed to go in only, and then stop, not continue. So a little, a tiny, small, a very small piece of plastic broke. That would otherwise act as a, uh, as a stopper to that motion. So, yeah. That's a problem. That that's a that's a slight issue. And I don't know off the top of my head how I would go about trying to fix that because with that broken, if I try to put these on, if I try to put these on, what ends up happening is that the the left side here will push outwards will push outwards and it will like hang off the top on my on my ear and then eventually it like completely slips down my ear because it wants to it wants to do this motion because that's where the that's where the wire is so it wants to it wants to go down like that sliding off of my ear so that's not acceptable uh, so I won't ha I won't be able to use those uh, until I find a solution to uh, to that issue. So now I have to be wearing the the Bose headphones uh, on the same wire. It's the same wire. The problem with these is that this connection with the with the wire is very finicky. It's very it's it's like absolute garbage. It's it's trash. So. And I have to be very, very gentle and careful with this. Any any wrong move with this, and I can actually, like, break the solder joints to the actual piece in there that has the jack and, and its connection to a board in there. I've already had to repair the thing twice while, while having these. I've, I've had to repair them twice. Go go in and like resolder that piece because it's just it's just not 
it's just not a good connection there. It's not well made. Bose did not do a good job making these headphones. Designing these headphones. They're not they're not good. They they are meant to be used with Bluetooth for music only. Uh, they are clearly not meant for a wired connection. The wired connection was an afterthought. And I will not be using it in Bluetooth mode under any circumstances whatsoever. Even if I added Bluetooth capability to my desktop, which my desktop does not have Bluetooth capability at the moment, I would need to get some, I would need to get an actual like transmitter, Bluetooth transmitter for it. Um, because these things, the Bluetooth tech that they use has a very significant audio delay. There is a very significant delay. Uh, extremely noticeable. It would it would completely throw off lip syncing of trying to use these to like watch videos. You would it would not. It's not pleasant at all. It is very bad, very very bad. I hate it immensely. But anyway, Factorio is a game. Factorio is a game that I am playing. Last time we met, I made a few things on the train network. Uh, we got into iron through hot air casting of iron. Uh, and I still need to do the steel. I still need to do the steel. Uh, so yeah, we made unslimed iron. We made hot air through red hot coke processing. Or we, we did red hot coke processing for coke oven gas and then made hot air from that coke oven gas. Um, yeah. So today, today we get to steal. We get to steal today. First thing, uh, the steel. I have a hundred hot air. I'll go ahead and I'll use it for the steel, but I don't really like I'm gonna do so. Anyway. Uh da 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 I would generally have these as separate. Oh yeah, Coke. Coke is a thing that one can make from red hot coke. May as well, I've got like a belt of red hot coke getting made for, for all the coke oven gas. Alright. That's gonna need that. And that looks okay. We're gonna split this between a molten steel factory and then the steel casting as two separate factories. I am, however, going to need to make sure that I have this factory be near a source of Omnite, or at a source of Omnite, which does restrict things a little bit, since most of these squares actually do not have a source of infinite Omnite at them. So we've got a thing here. We've got this, and this, and this. More over here. I'm thinking... Place that there. What infrastructure do I need, and how much can I make of it? The answer is zilch, because I need all of the circuits. There's 
There's two of those. More circuits. Ooh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should carry some of these around just to have as, like, ingredients. That takes a little while to make those furnaces. Let's go and build, because that should be all I need for everything in here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Into the locomotive. The locoist of locomotive. Uh, also, yeah, I'm going to no longer provide iron from down here. No longer shall that be feeding into the mall area. Only this station will do the, this job. Uh, so as I was saying, today's stream is only going to be half a stream. So anything that comes in that may uh, extend the stream uh, is going to apply next time. So any support coming in today is going to apply for next stream. Just so we're... All clear on that. Right, let's build this station. So, other other things to talk about. What what else is there for me to talk about? There's all there's always lots of things to talk about as we as we go through this process, building out our rail network here with, and getting all these things put onto the rails. So I play this game called Honkai Star Rail on a very regular basis. Every single day I play that game. And the other day I did manage finally to pick up Macaron's uh, weapon, her light cone, and was immediately able to maximize that light cone. So now I have Acheron and her light cone, which is fantastic because I was sorely lacking a character that was able to handle uh, lightning weak weakness enemies. That made me very, very happy to finally have a, a lightning solution. The only thing I don't have a good solution to for DPS is ice now. That is, that is the only one. I don't really have a great solution for, like, strong DPS that I can use in the, in the Memory of Chaos, specifically. I've got Erta built for pure fiction, which is uh, AoE-focused. Uh, that that so there's there's two end game level uh, challenges that refresh every two weeks and they alternate between each one. One is Memory of Chaos and the other is Pure Fiction. Memory of Chaos is designed primarily around fewer targets and bosses to fight and kill within specific turn limits. You have to kill them in specific turn limits. And you got to do it without having any of your team die. You don't have to do those two things at the same time, but you usually do. So you want characters that you can use to kill high hit point bosses in Memory of Chaos. However, there's also some other adds involved, usually in a previous round and has elites, more than one elite. So it really favors smaller range AoEs, aka destruction type characters, over hunt 
characters who just do single target. Pure Fiction is wave-based and has a five cycle turn limit. I think it's round five anyway. I think it's five. Yeah, per per side. Oh yeah, and you need two teams. Because there's there, it everything is times two. So with Memory of Chaos, you've got two sides, each with two waves. With a generally a boss at the end or double elites. You need to have two teams for that. And for pure fiction, you need two teams for that. And with Pure Fiction, you get waves and waves and waves of, like, full stack five enemies. So it very much favors teams that have a large amount of full area effect attacks and, and follow-up attacking characters who can take more actions in a turn. So if it favors more actions with larger AoEs. Uh, so I've got, you have to basically have, like, four teams in the endgame that you can work with. Now, there's some characters that do have some overlap, like destruction characters, but they don't usually have AoE that can hit every enemy on the team. So they're not as good in Pure Fiction, but they're really good in MOC. Uh, and what I've been lacking is lightning in general for both, as well as ice for MOC, which the second half of this patch is going to have the best DPS character in the entire game, who happens to be Ice. So, I would like to get her. I would I would like to have that character. That would be very nice. Very, 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 very nice to have that character. But it will basically trivialize the entire game, so there is that too. It, that it uh, it will it will like completely trivialize things even more than how I trivialized it already. Uh, red hot coke at molten steel. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta move a tile over. Thanks. I need the uh, supply. Molten Supply Station. Yeah, that's been a thing. I did get Agron with her light cone, and uh, it's great. Now, this patch also had more story content in it, and my general thoughts having gone through that story content is that uh, this is the most well-written of the stories that I've seen in any thing from this company. Uh, however, I hate the boss fight. There, there is a boss fight. I fundamentally hate the boss fight. Because it, it seems like it demands that you have specific built characters. And I don't like that design. Like I should, I, I shouldn't have to have built very specific characters to do this fight. I should be able to get through it with what I have and not feel like I have to build another character. Cause that, that fight is trivialized by having Acheron and having her built um, and it's an extremely difficult fight. They apparently nerfed it. Like, I lost twice after they nerfed it with, like, my E2 Don Hong and Vibrator Lune. With that really nice team that I had. <laughs> Like one of the strongest teams that you can have right now in the game. E2, Don Hong, Vibrator Lune with Sparkle. And I lost that fight twice. 
It's stupid. It's just dumb. I do not like that fight at all. And just how it's been designed, like, you can get completely screwed in that fight for no reason. With no recourse. Like, I get the theme of the fight matches the character you're fighting, but it's a bit much. There's a ton of randomness in that fight, and it's not good. stop things. But I got through it eventually, like, after getting Akron's Light Cone. Everything was fine after that, but still, I, I shouldn't have had to do that. Should have been fine with the characters that I had. Oh, and then the other part is, the, the other thing that I absolutely despise about just the design of the story of the game in general is that, like, every time you get into a, that type of boss fight, story boss fight, the first time, the first time that you have to go through that boss fight, you must do so manual mode. In manual mode, you must do the fight yourself with making your own decisions. You cannot use auto on it. Which, again, I'm like, F you. Why? Like, there is actually no reason for that. Like, yeah, I get it. Theoretically, fighting on manual should theoretically be more efficient than fighting on and fighting on auto, but I don't want to think. I'm not playing this game to think. You know, like I, I, I'm, I'm playing it to, for a casual experience. I don't want to, I don't want to think about it. I, 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 li I literally do not want to actually think about my fights, about any of the fights. Like I don't care. Just, just let me get through this experience. Just want to be done with it. There is this tile here I can actually do. That side. That'll make a little bit more sense. B -b 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 coal dust. So I'll need some boilers here. Boilers. Uh, so how much are we getting? 1.25. Uh, I'll put two down. Oh, I should, uh, I should stack first. That way I can, uh, I can output the, uh, ash stacks. Easily. Which then have to get voided! Isn't that lovely? Uh, 
that many. So this uses the coal dust to fuel the burners that will burn the ash from burning the coal dust. Yeah. And that's how that will go. Alright, now four of these. Actually, yeah, I'll do it on the other side. We'll have four of these. Oh boy, yes, I want, this was part of the point here, I want to mine, stack, I want to do that, oh yeah, I need molten iron, duh. Molten iron. Yes, so I will. I will be loading. The stacked Omnite in first. Uh, then I will load in the uh, the coke. other side. Now it shouldn't ever switch the fuel on me. But we'll see. Electrolyzers. Electrolyzing. We'll do them over here. Uh, so now with Honkai Star Rail, my main thing that I'm doing and working on is, uh, Relics. Relics! Equipment for the characters! Oh boy! Isn't that lovely? It is the infinite grind to try to get good, decent, workable relics for the characters. I've got a set for Acheron. I sort of stole what I had for my... for another character. So I'm sort of want to get that Rebuilt for the other character, but also better stuff for Acheron. Uh, as well as the team for Acheron. I need to improve the relics for the team that I use for Acheron, which I'm using. Uh, the, the team is Acheron, Pella, Silverwolf, and uh, Fushuan. Uh, or Fushuan, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Thank you so much for following on Twitch. Uh, and it's a pretty good team. Uh, Akron is a unique mechanic. Her unique mechanic is that she doesn't have an ultimate ability that ha uses energy. Uh, instead, she gains stacks of towards her ultimate through inflicting debuffs on the enemy. So any character on your team that inflicts debuffs on the enemy will add stacks to her uh, ultimate. Uh, 
and after getting nine stacks, she can use her ultimate. So the faster your team is, the more, the faster you can accrue the stacks for her to use her ultimate, which is where the majority of her damage is from. Um, her ultimate also ignores the uh, type resistances of enemies, which is great. She's just a really great character overall. Um, so, the team needs to be able to inflict debuffs, which, uh, like, damage over time counts towards debuffs, but generally not the greatest. Oh yeah, I need to... I need to unload the ash as well. The ash stack must be removed. Right. Uh, and currently, the best characters for for that purpose are uh, Pella and Silverwolf. Uh, specifically, if Pella has a specific light cone that will uh, inflict a debuff from any action, including her basic attack, that that will come in handy. And then if she uses her skill, I think it can do two separate debuffs if the enemy didn't already have the debuff already. It's just it's just a little weird because each each debuff only counts one time, even if it's applied in an AoE or Acheron's ultimate. So it's it's a it's a little odd that Pella can use her ultimate, which inflicts a defense down to all of the enemies and yet each it doesn't count each enemies each enemy getting the debuff towards the towards Akron's ultimate only it only counts it once <laughs> as one debuff which is I don't like that I, I, I think that's I think that it makes sense from a balance perspective but it is not intuitive that that's how that works it's not clear that you will only get one in that action even if it's an aoe and even if it applies a debuff multiple times like it that part could be clearer it would be really really stupid strong if you actually got uh, points for applying a debuff in one action to the whole enemy team because that could be like five stacks of your nine just immediately on demand from using a an ultimate on a character towards the uh towards Akron's ultimate it's like ooh then it'd be like ooh nice anyway stuff and things we've got our We've got our molten iron, uh, molten steel now. Uh, ba Booger. There we go. Molten steel. Uh, so my mission lately has been to get better speed for my Pella and my Silver Wolf while trying to maintain their current, the current other stats that they need. They need to have effect hit rate so that the debuffs that they are supposed to inflict actually inflict on the enemy, you know? Uh, yeah, the, there, there is a chance for enemies to resist the debuffs if you don't have good enough of a specific stat called effect hit rate. You need effect hit rate. 
for it to actually do anything. And for it to count towards Actaron's ultimate, so we need to maintain the effect hit rate while, as well as make them as fast as possible, aka around 161 speed. 160 with extra little, like even 0.01 does it. Uh, that, that makes it so that they basically get two actions every turn, for all intents and purposes. It's not quite, I think, exactly two per turn, but it is close enough at that break point. There's a, there's a whole rabbit hole to go down with, like, the speed stat on the characters. That's to say speed important. It, it important... Uh, getting 160 is a royal pain in the ass. Most are fine at 134. Or like 141. 160 is really pushing it. It can go higher, but... Yeah, it, you, need, you need to get really lucky on relics to get that much speed. Uh, to get up to 160 while also maintaining all the other stats it's like pff, near impossible but we're gonna try uh later in this current patch because of the anniversary of hawkeye star rail there's going to be a three times drop rate for relics and planar ornaments which go together uh i do need to do ornaments as well i need better ornament uh, better planar ornaments for the for the characters because that's more sub stats and more Ah, buh, things. So having I mean, 3x will be nice. Maybe I should uh, just accept what I have now and like try to pre-farm for uh, the potential of Jinglu. But also, I don't want to... I'm not guaranteed that character. That's so I'm not going to even see another 5-star this patch, so... And even if I did, it's only a 50% chance of being Jinglu, character that I want, so... It doesn't really make sense to pre-farm for that character. And it's like, well, what else can I do? Well, I could build another character that I have, but I can't really build characters anymore. Why? Because of this little thing called the Tracks of Destiny item. Like, yeah, I could, I could sort of build for some four-star characters to an extent uh, with their, with their trace levels for their skills. But without Tracks of Destiny, there's, I can't max anyone. I can't maximize anyone without having tracks of destiny which you know for the longest of time it's like i had infinite tracks of destiny but now i've got zero <laughs> now i feel it now i've built sufficiently enough characters to uh, actually feel the effect of not having enough tracks of destiny there's simply not enough to maximize every character in the game and they come in they, they do come in relatively steadily, it's just that it's not fast enough to full max everyone. Uh, we're just gonna go right across the street. I almost died. Great. I'm glad I stopped right before getting hit. Ugh. you and yeah for reference five star characters need more tracks of destiny than four star characters uh, so I could actually build uh, four star characters more than I could five because uh, Four star characters only need the tracks of destiny for a one passive, one passive ability, as well as the final rank 
of each of their four uh, things that they can level, which is uh, basic attack, skill, ultimate, and talent. Uh, and the basic attack can only level up to level 6, while the other stuff levels up to level 10. Uh, so it's the level 10 of the three things that need the Tracks of Destiny. The basic attack actually doesn't ever really need a Track of Destiny at all, I think, for anyone at any time. But the other three do. No, excuse me, it's the it's the it's the, the three that need the the tracks, the the skill, the ult, and the talent. Uh, and one of the passives for four star characters. For five star characters, they need it they need the track for the passive, but they also need a track for the last two levels of those three so they need like an extra three of that item compared to a four star which is a bit nuts and it's why people who have been playing since the first day uh, when the game launched uh, are having issues now with lack of track of destiny and it's sort of why this patch added that item as a <laughs> they added it as a purchase in in the shop not for real money but for a uh, currency that you get when you pull repeat five star characters as well as when you pull uh, like just repeat four stars in general and for four star weapons and five star weapons in general uh, the, the thing is though you need they made it really expensive. You need 50 of this currency. And 20 of the currency is a pull. You can get a pull for 20. So it's like two and a half pulls to get a track. Like, eh, I don't think I, I, don't, I don't think that's worth it. I think I think that's too, it's too expensive. But anyway, it's infinite regardless. But it. it and it favors people who pay for polls, definitely, because this is a currency that you get exclusively by doing polls. So the more that you do, or slash pay for, the more this currency you'll end up with. Uh, bu -bu -bu. I need this exact thing, just renamed to steel. To. I'll need to make more of that. Uh, yes, this is our molten steel. Not steel. Um. Oh yeah, I'm doing the names. I'm doing I'm doing the names here for all these requester stations. Um. There will come a point I will not do the names. Uh, because as you can see, that doing all these names takes time. It takes a long time, especially on larger factories. And... It will, yeah, there will just come a point where I'm, I'm just tired of it. I'll do it. Molten steel. I will need to define the molten steel. Source priority. Uh, would help if I had a, you know, a locomotive. 
on the steel, on molten steel. in how goes it fine so far I'm just I'm very tired today that's why I'm only streaming half stream today so we've got we've only got like half an hour left so I, I'm low energy very very low energy and there's lots of work I needed to still do for Easter today. You know. That would help. That placed. My mind is definitely elsewhere. But hey, we've got we've got a belt of steel now, which is nice. My my train placed and down. S and D full cargo circuit condition, and go be free. Do the wonderful things. Z huzzah zoo, and hazam. exists to find the steel uh, so we talked about star rail the other thing that I that I've been playing uh, recently quite a bit is uh, is Azure Lane and that has been fine. I have enjoyed it so far. I'm I'm learning a bit. I feel like I'm learning a bit. Uh, on how to play it, if it's somewhat semi efficiently, better, better. Uh, I'll, I'll I won't say I'm playing it well. I'm saying I'll, I'm saying I'm playing it better, a little bit, little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it is definitely a gotcha game, and it is designed to be played in the rather long term. It definitely has mechanics that really, really, really delays things by quite a bit. There's like, there, there is time-gated content. Which, you know, would be good to know about, but uh, beforehand <laughs> to prep for, which would have been, that would have been nice, but still... I'm I'm going through it. Uh, I am. I have currently cleared the first four worlds of the uh, like main missions. That's that's where I'm at right now. But I have, I could have been further on in the main missions. I've just been repeating a lot of the previous world missions. Um, and it's gonna it's there's gonna be some time that I'm still going to be spending here in uh, World 4 and in World 3. I still need to I still have a thing to get from World 3. Um, so you can get ships. You, you, you get your, your, your characters, your ships uh, in the main missions. You can get them in the main missions. And the last mission of World 3 happens to have two uh, super rare SR ships to get uh, at a 
0.75% chance each time you run that mission to actually get a super rare. 0.75% chance to get a super rare. I have gotten one of the two that are available. I got I got one of the two. Want to get the other one. The thing is, though, I've gotten two of the one that I got before seeing one of the other one. At, at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. Uh, so, we need to name this. We need to name this. M steal the name. I need a name. This one is going to be Mark. And there goes the steel. There goes the steel. Uh, but yeah, I don't currently have any ultra rares uh, on my account, which is slightly disappointing. But you know, it's it's fine. I've got I've got a few super rares now. I've got I got some super rares. I've got. Some semblance of a team I can use to go through the main content, but not the greatest. Not built well yet either, because you gotta build your characters too and level them and give them gear and make them better. Increase their star rating, etc., etc., etc. Do retrofits, etc., etc. That's the whole process of making them better in general i've been slowly working on that as the game allows i've been working on the 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 starter character the character that you pick at the beginning of the game you, you get a choice of three uh between three different uh destroyers at the beginning of the game it's your like first quote unquote characters that you get character that you get and that one has a retrofit available for it, so it will increase its rarity. It will increase its rarity once you get all the retrofit stuff, as far as I'm aware, once you go through that process, which that process, as it turns out, is pretty materially expensive on uh, on time and items that you need for it. Ooh, boy. Yeah. And you definitely have a limit uh, to your ability to get the stuff to do the retrofits. It is, it is time-gated, since uh, the main items that you need have to be gotten through playing missions in hard mode difficulty. And you can only run hard mode difficulty three times per day. Total. Yeah. It is... A bit limiting. A, a bit limiting. On the speed with which you can upgrade stuff. So we have the steel. Let's move on towards copper. Uh, I have access to copper through molten casting now. So I could do hot air. Uh, how much hot air am I currently using of my... 100, um, 43.4, so I, th I think I can spare 10 for the copper, but besides this, I don't think I really want to do much hot air stuff outside of, uh, outside of glass, unless I really scale up the hot air. Uh, right. So this process is going to result in low-grade copper dust that you could directly smelt uh, into 
copper plates, but I'm not going to do that. I never do that uh, at all. Uh, I haven't done it since my first playthroughs, my like initial playthrough of the game. Where's the, where's the, where's the pure copper? All right, what do I, what do I still need for this? One, two, three. Is that circuits again? Circuits again being an issue. Those. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's a few. Um. That's, uh. That said 24 screeners. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and I need a locomotive. Really? What are you lacking? Oh, those. Interesting. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Not with the circuits. I'm going to improve my circuits by no longer making uh, signals. Rail signals. Uh, I'm carrying 10,000 each, and there's another 8.1k available uh, in here. So I think I'm going to now uh, output priority left straight up to the mall, all of the circuits, rather than continue building these things that I don't need right now. That way I should be getting batches of five at a time of these circuits brought up rather than two or three. Sockets. I need all of my circuits. What he's doing? Uh, one, two, three. Three. Four. Sorry, what now? Oh, hey, tech. Tech is a thing. Uh, that. That. Oh boy, so much stuff. There's a lot of tech at this tech level to take. And more circuits. Always required. There is a very loud bird chirping. Inside the window. Mine. 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 All mine.
All my circuits will be fine. Pick them all up. I've got a mission to complete. That involves a lot of automated screeners. Oh yeah, we're not we're not really gonna be building this today. Uh, not fully Ooh, hi. Why hello? Why hello? That's a few circuits. Yes, I will gladly take these circuits. It's gonna slow everything else down for a while once I run out of these, but that's eh, fine. That that's fine. We're okay with all with all that. Right, so there was an issue I had actually with uh with Azure Lane yesterday. There's a, there's a bit of an, issue, of an issue that I ran into. I had to file a bug report for it. Well, quote unquote, file a bug report. Um. Yeah, there was a mission to get a class of ship leveled to level 60 any of a class of ship to get up to level 60 specifically you have to get a carrier or light carrier a, a cv or cbl to level 60 uh, and so i had some experience books that i decided to use to get carrier to above level 60 because one, one would think that Hey, if the level cap is above 60 and you, you have to get one to 60, that it's an at least thing, not not an equal thing. So I got him I got him to level 61 on a carrier, and the mission did not trigger as completed when I did that. Like okay. Then I, I did I did the same thing to the, the light the, the light carrier and a regular carrier. So I, I had both to level 60, above level 60. It didn't give me the completion of that, of that mission. Like, what? Excuse me? That, that's not how that's supposed to go. It's not supposed to be how that works. Slash not works. That, that, that doesn't make sense. Why would it not? Give me the completion. Like I, I did the thing. I, I did the thing, and it didn't register that I did the thing. I, I had to. I filed a report about it because it said that I had to get a thing to level sixty. I got him above level sixty. All the other missions that said to get a character to a certain level triggered when getting them above that level. So it's like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> It's like, hey, uh, I, I did this thing. I feel like I did it. What's going on? Well, a few hours later, a few hours later go, go by. Like I, I like reset the game as well. So th there was there was that. I, I, I reset. Both close the app, reopen the app. Didn't didn't trigger. It didn't do it. Didn't do it. It was only a few hours later, after having filed that thing, that uh, I log in and there it is, marked complete. It's like really, uh, like, really. I, I didn't get any word from any like or text board about it anyway. It just appeared for me. It just appeared as complete. It's like, okay, well, someone got to it. Something got to it. Something something updated somewhere. And fixed it. Shouldn't happen in the first place, but still. At least uh, I got the completion for it. Eventually. It was just the that was just a bit of weirdness. Little little bit of weirdness that, that happened. To me yesterday. Alright. 
how many more thingies? Seven in inventory. Well, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four. Okay, that should be enough. But yeah, as I said, at least it was it got done. At least it was fixed. So we need like only fifteen copper, which is nowhere near this. Which is nowhere near this. There would be something to be said to get more molten copper, but eh. You know, eh. Um, actually, there is absolutely something to be said to get more Molten Copper, because I'm going to need Molten Copper for Molten Duralumin. Uh, well, mol Molten Casting of Duralumin, using Molten Copper and Molten Aluminium. Uh, that doesn't come for a little bit of time, but it is useful. So, I'm actually, I am going to probably have to double this. At least. Um, but as you can sort of tell here, I don't have enough circuits for all of the uh, for all of the automated screeners that I need. Okay, that's part one. Oh yes, I will need more. I'll, I'll need more. I'll need to split and go down. I need another nine and a half. Uh, 16 plus nine and a half is a number that is less than 30, yeah? So actually, no, I'm fine. I'm still good. I am still good. Oh. You know. I'm doing this in the exact wrong location. What am I thinking? This is not where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be all the way down here. Yeah, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Not up there. I built the correct orientation at least. It's just I'm not supposed to be I'm not supposed to be up there. Whoops.
how much output is this enough? It's fine. In fact, it's so fine, I don't even need... You know. Don't even need a stack currently, because I, I, I think that if I double this, it'll be, like, the whole thing. Uh, boogers, go there. It'll be the whole thing copy-pasted. So I should build this as compact as I reasonably can. Uh, okay, so this needs to filter out the grade 2. Er. Sigh. Mr. Cat, I'm jumping down, coming to say hi. the uh rejects these no it's rejects yes yeah, copper rejects those get processed in these little guys get that over a pile We've got, we've got a, we've got a cat. We can spend at least a couple of minutes looking at cat. There's, there's Mr. Cat. So we've got like three minutes, three minutes left in today's stream. I know it's short, but there is so much to do today. We will probably get this molten. I'll end it. Right. Stack. Right. Three. Combines. up into seven. Yeah. Up the everything, please. And 
this gives me low grade copper reject. Gets processed in three of these. to filter the uh, low-grade copper dust, right? That stuff will get voided because uh, what comes out of this is also grade four. And the grade four goes into this guy. Uh, which needs Electrolyzers. Right. I need six of those. Whew. Good, 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 good. I could actually make them. They're being crafted now. Give me water there. That is my alarm indicating that I am halfway normally through the stream, uh, but we will be ending off rather than taking a break. I am going to get most of this done. Not for like the belt logistics and things. I have to do this. I have to run the this guy over. Oh, goodness. Uh, boy. That's going to fuel it. Put that in there. Give power to the everything it's the stone voiding Um, D stack here for waiting, please. All right, that should end up being that. Okay, I need borax in. Clean up that. Our borax at molten copper. It will need to be shifted a tile over. Borax out, up. Ah, and the ash, right? Don't forget ash.
that is that. Uh, so now it's just the same as before just to get this. Why, why is there anything? Because I'm busy for Easter today. I, I've got, I have to prepare for a guest. And, you know, cook and do all that stuff. It's, it is actually cr as close to the, like, really major holiday as we can get. That it is really a major holiday and I shouldn't actually be streaming today because of that, but whatever. It's fine. Because we are going to have a larger meal and I have to clean the house. Continue cleaning the house. Oh, there's that. <laughs> there is that. Uh, that's, that's like why I have to end early today. Was, was toying with the idea of just not streaming, but here I am. And that is molten copper. I have that to find. Okay. So today we made molten steel into steel and got molten copper. Not a ton of progress, but it is progress nonetheless. I um, have cat. I has I has cat here. He comfy. He comfy. That's where I'll have to end it off for the day. Today, just as I I have to be busy uh, going forward the rest of the day. I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Show. If you've enjoyed the stream, please do all the social stuff below the video. I'll be back with more on Tuesday. Hopefully be able to make more significant progress. Uh, hope to see you all then.